These are things guys do that they absolutely don't want girls to know about. But today I'm going to tell you all their dirty little secrets. Number one, at some point every guy has woken up with morning wood and still tried to pee. Common sense would probably tell you to sit down. But no, most of them will try and pee with a leaning tower of Pisa. No pun intended. Speaking of pee, this brings me on to number two. The places you will go to pee. Criminal. In the sink? In the shower? In a bottle? When you're travelling? And they'll also make up like these mini games to get rid of stains on the side of the toilet with their pee stream. Or will like flush the toilet before they finish peeing and try to finish peeing before the flush ends. And have all at some point attempted a long range shot in the toilet and probably missed. Number three, in the summer their balls will be sticking to their legs consistently. So if you see him with his hands down there trying to rearrange the situation, it's either because it's uncomfortable or just because it's warm. And lastly, this isn't really a gross one, but guys will not notice the little details that you change about yourself. This is why if you get a haircut or change your hair colour, their first response is, something's different about you, but I can't put my finger on what it is. So note to self, after you two break up, dramatically changing your hair, he's probably not going to really notice. Things you can do to make you instantly more attractive. If you're new here and need more tips like these, then you may as well click follow. Let's get into it. Number one, do not underestimate the power of having good manners. When someone has been brought up well, is kind to hospitality, says their please and thank yous, opens doors for you. Mentally, the other person is thinking, hmm, I could see myself being with this person long term. Just because you're a good person. Number two, dress for success. I am still yet to find something that makes me feel more confident confident than a bit of retail therapy. If you struggle with confidence, finding clothes that you feel good in, ah! the power it holds. Believe it or not, I have social anxiety, but the second I'm in a bomb ass outfit, put me in a room, people, get the cameras on me. I feel invincible. So lean more into your own style. And psychologically speaking, if you wear the color red, it makes other people find you more attractive. And number three, when you're talking to people, make eye contact with them. They're gonna think you're a great listener and so engaged in what they're saying. And if they like you a little bit already, it adds a little bit more sexual tension. Oh, and lastly, invest in a good scent. Whether you're a guy or a girl, if you smell good, I guarantee they will be thinking about you when you're not there. And in my books, you immediately gain three points because you come across as someone that knows how to look after themselves. Signs you're more attractive than you think you are. If you're new here and want more videos like these, then I suggest you click follow. Number one, you are a child magnet. Do you ever find when you see a newborn they stare at you? That is because you are attractive. Number two, when you're in public and you find yourself making eye contact with people, it's because they were looking at you, they think you're attractive and you just caught them. And number three, if you don't get complimented often, don't get approached often and your DMs are incredibly dry, this could well be because you're attractive and people think you get that attention all the time so don't even bother. And there would just be another person adding to that. I mean, that's what I keep telling myself anyway. Sign someone is secretly jealous of you. If you're new here and need more tips like these, then I suggest you click follow. Let's get into it. Number one, if they give you unsolicited opinions to humble you, just ask yourself why they feel the need to do such a thing. If they cared for you and weren't jealous, they would be cheering for you in your corner. So if someone close to you does this, red flag. Number two, if ever you have a milestone or an achievement and you excitedly tell this person about it and they go, that's great, but then start talking about something that they've done, for whatever reason, they're not comfortable with the light being on you and have to try and make every little thing about them and their successes. And they'll do this in person or in front of people. Babe, it's because they're jealous. And number three, if they're really nice to your face, but the second they're in a group setting, they're either really mean or act like you don't exist. The jealousy is real. These are not people you should be friends with or in a relationship with. First date hacks that you need to know about. If you're new here and your dating life is drier than the Sahara, then I suggest you click follow. Number one, to take someone on their perfect date but still keep an element of mystery, just do this. Text them, did you wanna do anything in particular? And if not, how about I give you five and you choose three? Now the options you give them are gonna fit into three categories. They're either gonna be fun, they're either gonna be romantic or casual. These are all gonna be great options for a first date that allow you to actually talk and get to know each other, as well as it not being too intimidating. And 
even when they give you the three options, you now have the choice as to where you go. So you can choose places that you would feel comfortable in and they still get an element of surprise. Number two, if you are going to a restaurant and you've asked the other person out on a date, one of the best things that you can do, and I stand by this, is something as simple as calling the restaurant up beforehand, giving them your card details so when the bill comes, you can be like, oh, it's already taken care of. Are you crazy? I would die then and there if any man did this for me. It's the thought, it's the organization, it's the not having the awkward situation where we fight for who pays for the bill. Incredible. And number three, if they're making their own way home after the date, ask them to let you know they got home okay. If you do things one and two, they will. You're gonna text them saying, I'm glad you did. I'm gonna get some sleep, good night. This is gonna leave them wanting more. And as much as you probably want to continue to talk till 2 a.m., have good boundaries set in place. And then text them in the morning saying, I really enjoyed last night. We should do it again sometime. World's easiest transition to date number two, and they are gonna be obsessed with you. These are things girls want but will never ask for. And if you want more cheat codes like this, then I suggest you click follow. Number one, candid photos. She wants to see herself from your POV. There's just something about you taking a photo of her because you think she looks beautiful, especially when the light hits her in a particular way. You know exactly what I mean. It's like one of those perfect moments that belong in an album that you show to your future kids. And she'll probably hate like 99% of the photos that you take of her, but she will love you for it. Number two is for you you two to have a song. And I guarantee she will have fantasized this song playing while you two are at home and you pulling her in to dance with her. Don't ask, it's a thing. If you two do have a song, she's mentally prepared herself for this to be the first dance at your wedding. Number three is super important to give her a sense of security. Introduce her to people as your girlfriend. You can keep your relationship private. The whole world does not need to know that you two are together, but the important people in your life absolutely should know. And this makes her feel like she's not being hidden and you you are proud to be with her. So if you do these already, good job. And if you don't yet, now you know you should. This is how to make a guy nervous and give him butterflies. And if you're new here and you need more tips like the ones I'm about to give you, then it would be very beneficial to click follow. Number one, if you are shorter than him, this is about to work like an absolute dream. Just the simple act of you looking up at him, it's giving puppy dog eyes without you even trying. And knowing guys, it's gonna make him think of other things. Which, if you're trying to get out of the friend zone, is very advantageous. Number two, sending any guy any of these three texts. Proceed with caution because bro is about to have heart palpitations. Follow it up with a compliment. Or something generally lighthearted. His response before you tell him the thing is gonna Gonna tell you everything because if he gets nervous and he's like sure what's up is everything okay he absolutely likes you and number three if you're really ballsy is gonna have this guy thinking about this moment for the rest of his life you guys are mid conversation and he's talking about himself whilst holding eye contact randomly drop in i really like that about you and then you're gonna look at his lips and the rest is history Things guys wish girls knew. Relationship edition. If you're new here and need more male cheat codes, then I suggest you click follow. Let's get into it. Number one, guys are simple creatures. All they really want in a relationship is good communication, loyalty, and respect. He is quite literally happy with the bare minimum, but we're not gonna stop there because boys deserve love too. Although we live in a world where it's expected for men to pursue women and be the ones to compliment us and surprise us all the time, girls, they want us to be romantic too. Compliment his haircut, his outfit, his work. Tell him he looks handsome every once in a while. Surprise him with food or arrange something cute for you two to do together. Cause I guarantee he's not gonna expect it at all and it is going to mean the world to him. Number three, another big thing for guys is that you just love them for who they are. And don't just love this idea of them that you have in your head. That means sticking by him even when it gets hard and giving him an environment where he can just be himself and doesn't feel like he has to change himself for you. And if he is ever quiet or distant with you, nine times out of 10, he's not switching up on you. He's just dealing with something that's on his mind and doesn't want to burden you with that. So if he does this instead of pressing him and trying to get him to hash it out with you, just give him words of encouragement and let him know how much he's loved. And lastly, number four, if he shows you something he's done that he's proud of, he's showing you because he wants to see your reaction. So hype him up and tell him you're proud of him. Because if a man knows he has you by his side, he is unstoppable. <laughs> 